Hi, this is Peter Prop, and welcome to another episode of 10 Minute Strategy. I'm here with Larry Friedberg. He is, uh, what are you, executive VP of marketing? Something like uh, that? I'm senior vice president of uh, and, uh, sales and marketing and CMO. For? Whatever. I run marketing and sales. For? For uh, French Transit, which is the uh, manufacturer of Crystal. The Crystal. Crystal deodorant. Crystal deodorant. Is that, is that the Crystal yep. right there? On uh, here. So, so tell us about the Crystal. What what is it? Okay, sure. So, so Crystal is actually a 27 year old brand. Uh, we founded the the mineral salt category, and this is actually the first product. It's a rock. If you could hold it in your hand, it would be really heavy. It's about 12 ounces, 10, 12 ounces. Okay. And if you wet this and you put it on your underarm, it actually prevents body odor all day. Huh. Yeah. So this is this is actually the DNA that's in all of our products. Interesting. This uh, crystal body deodorant stick, and and we have a roll-on, we have spray, we have some lightly scented products, we have crystal essence, which we just launched in two thousand nine. Hold them more. And slowly. it's a natural deodorant. It's it's all natural. Okay. And um, what makes crystal different is that it's actually a, a deodorant. It's a natural deodorant, a natural product that works. <laughs> uh huh. So, so you don't actually take that block and put it under your arm. You've taken the essence of that block and put it into other products. Well, actually, the answer is uh, yes, we do, and okay. yes, we do. So th- we still sell this. Okay. You can find this on our website for okay. for like twelve bucks. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, this lasts all year long. You wet it and and you rub it under your arm, just like that, uh-huh. fresh out of the shower or bath. Uh-huh. It's just that. It's kind of hard to convince most, you know, mainstream consumers that this is a really, uh, this is something that they should use as a personal care product. Okay, I understand. So we, we ended up, in 92, we actually launched the, the stick. I see. Uh, so that it could actually be uh, uh, sold through at, uh, at drug stores and health, uh, health food stores and so forth. Okay, great. So, so Larry, let's, let's talk a little bit about, about your background. I, I, know, I know you had an illustrious yeah. career at Kenyon College. <laughs> so uh, I spent uh, 15 years in high tech before I came here, and um, it's yeah, I don't know if it's an interesting story. I guess it's interesting to me in that um, uh, if you had asked me three, four, or five years ago the, uh, whether or not I thought I'd end up in CPG or at a, at a uh, an all natural brand, I'd, I'd have laughed because I was so comfortably ensconced in high tech. Six years at eBay and, and PayPal, and I, I really enjoyed my career there. Launched some pretty impressive uh, new programs like the, the dispute resolution system at eBay and PayPal. Mm-hmm. But I knew the founder of this company, and I've known him for, for 15, close to 15 years now. And whereas the old conversations we had were about how exciting my life was, my job was, mm-hmm. Um, there was a shift, and the conversation started getting a lot more interesting as he talked about his business and the right. growth of natural products. Right. So it was a personal connection, and it was the reality that natural products was really growing at about a billion dollars per year, mm-hmm. and he never had a head of marketing. And so the opportunity for me to partner with him and help kind of launched this brand which had already been existing. This this brand has existed for 27 years. It wow. just needed to be discovered. Right. Right. Um and, and and accelerated. So that's pretty much what I've done for the past 2 years and it's it's been quite a fun ride. Great. Ben, before we forget, what's the URL for Crystal? Ah, sure. It's uh, www.thecrystalcrystal.com. Okay, great. Um cool. And and so <clears throat> So when you're, you know, you, so you spent some time, I know, at, at Ziff Davis, you spent time at, at, at eBay and, and, and PayPal, and now your job is not about, uh, you know, payments from uh, consumers to, to, to vendors in, in an online abstract environment. You're talking about getting physical product onto a shelf. Yeah. You know, that's a totally different world. How does that feel? Uh, it's a great question. And... Um, the answer is it feels great, and here's why. When I was at eBay, one of the things that I found so incredibly compelling about working there was how passionate the buyers and sellers were about eBay. Right. And when I was at my first eBay Live, 
I, I went to um, an area where all of the you know lifelong eBay sellers would hang out. It was called the Pink's Lounge, and they all just hung out there and shared stories and talk. My first eBay live, I talked to a guy who just spent the entire time lambasting eBay. Forty-five minutes, I'm listening to this guy. I said, "What do you, you know, tell me about eBay?" And he's t- horrible experience. And I said. You just spent the past half hour, 40 minutes, telling me how horrible eBay was. What can you say good about it? He said, are you kidding? You guys are eBay. You're great. So I knew that there was a passion for and a feeling of a vested interest in the success of eBay. Before I came on board here at Crystal, I asked Jerry Rosenblatt, the founder, to front me some money for research. And what I found was a similar kind of passion for for this product, for this brand, for this and I thought, oh my God, how is that possible? This is just a deodorant. A deodorant is the lowest, probably the lowest um, uh, kind of involvement category in personal care, right? Uh-huh. You put it on, you go out, right? People were waxing euphorically about this crystal brand and the products. I knew there was something here. Right. And, and the chance to run marketing, to learn this, this new industry for me, and um, uh, to help modernize, contemporize the brand, and uh, see it grow. That's that's been exciting for me. Right, and 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 we were just talking before. You've got some big brothers to look at and really model yourself on. eBay was a new thing. No one had ever been eBay. It was a brand new category. You're in CPG now. You know you've got some big brothers to look at and say, oh, how are they doing it? But then, of course, you're a natural brand, so you've got some differences in your approach. I'm sure. Yeah, we do. And in fact, we don't look at P&G as necessarily being the model. We're a challenger brand. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's just a euphemism for being a niche product. Right. But I say challenger because we are at a point in time where consumers are a lot smarter than they've ever been. Mm-hmm. They do their research on consumer products. Um, and so to me, the model is not necessarily a P&G or, or a Unilever. Uh, I think a model is more along the lines of uh, of, of an apple. You right. know, uh, what what are you doing right by your consumers? Mm-hmm. Being honest with them and delivering a high value to them, and and having a personal relationship with your customers. And I think that the bigger CPG brands, they've done a fabulous job. I mean, I can't teach them anything. I wouldn't even attempt to. But what we have that I don't think they have is a kind of rapport. Uh, with a, a really educated consumer who cares about what they're putting into and onto their bodies. Right. And that's much more engaging. It's a lot more cause-oriented, I guess, than it is just uh, attributes of the product. And by the way, uh, our position is that you know any product we launch, it, it has to be all natural, but it has to work. <laughs> so it's not just a matter of having a series of, of claims and benefits, blah, blah, blah. This is really establishing rapport and relationships with our customers. That's, it's good to know. It's, it's not just all natural. It actually has a, a, an effect. That's, that's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty important. <laughs> Absolutely. So, yeah. so Larry, we, we've got about a minute and a half. I know you've got a particular business challenge you're facing. I want to give you a, an open soapbox to talk about that. All right. Here, here's my challenge, folks. Uh, after 18 years, my beloved national sales manager has decided to call it quits. So I'm looking for a really great candidate. Somebody who knows the uh, mass and drug space very well, knows the health space well, someone who's strong in HBA, uh, and really can ooze the, the qualifications that we're looking, the qualities that we're looking for. Somebody who cares, somebody who's passionate. Uh, and somebody who really wants to help us grow. We we grew at about 30% year over year. Uh, we're ready for even greater growth in the future. And so we're looking for, I'm looking for a really good partner in this. Uh, so if you are that person, contact me, Larry at thecrystal.com. Excellent. So, and, and uh, in terms of location, you're looking for someone that's Bay Area based? Well, actually, uh, it would be ideal if we could. Uh, somebody who's worked successfully remotely. Um, we definitely uh, entertain talking to uh, to somebody who, who who lives outside this area. I mean, if they're in Chicago, even better in the sense that they have easy access to great transportation. Right. Uh, but wherever, if you're great, contact me. Excellent. All right, Larry, we got to wrap it up. This has been awesome. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, my pleasure. Thanks, folks, for tuning in to Ten Minute Strategy. Thanks, Peter. Thanks, everyone. 